Hey, Redcon Raider here. Today's video is dedicated to mildly nuclear. Thanks for your support, Nuke. That said, let's get started. Welcome back to Phoenix Point, Backer Build 4. Well, we've given the Pandora virus a few days to build up, and it looks like it's finally paid off. As of last episode, they finally merged two of their alien nests into a single alien layer, which not only increases their area of influence, but it should also let them start manufacturing some of the uh, more powerful mutants we haven't gotten to see yet. We've actually got a Haven defense mission waiting for us right now, so if we're lucky, we might end up seeing a Siren or a Chiron. Of course, before we go, I should remind you, this is just a pre-alpha. The game's not optimized or balanced yet, and there's a lot of unfinished and placeholder content, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, let's check in with our new recruits. Now, for once, we don't actually have any level-ups to take care of, but we did have to rearrange our roster. We've only got eight seats on the Manicore. I believe the final game will feature a larger transport vehicle that will allow us to field squads of up to 12 soldiers at a time, but that hasn't actually been verified just yet. Don't worry, I'll try to rotate our squad on a regular basis. I would like everyone to get some time on the battlefield. Speaking of which... Oh, hey, look at that. We might get to see our first siren. Though these previews aren't always accurate. And there she is, our very first siren. Interesting. And we've got a light gunner up top. Dangerous, but very fragile. All right, let's see if we can soften these things up. There's another light gunner, too far away to uh, pose much of a threat. We'll just stay focused on these guys for now. Hmm, can't seem to get a clear shot here. Strange, I'm not sure what's blocking our trajectory. That's fine. We'll just do this the hard way. Very nice. They're not so tough once you get them out of those armored shells. Now let's start whittling down that siren. We don't want to get too close, though. Those things are incredibly dangerous. Let's see here. Lightly armored, but lots of hit points. Injector arm. Screaming head. And a slasher arm. I think that's the standard loadout. We'll go for center of mass. <laughs> of course. Well, let's keep piling it on.
Very nice. Almost a shame to kill this thing too quickly, though. We'll give it a turn or two, just to see what it does. on the run. Ah, it's going after objectives. And it has acid spit. Good to know. There's an armored gunner. are going to make short work of those objectives. We'll have to move quick. Okay, let's push one of our assaults over to uh, take out that crab man in the corner. Less thing to worry about. Oh, and we've got multiple containers over here. Now let's see if we can neutralize that crab man as well. Oh, no, let's go for the heavy gunner instead. That should hopefully buy the objectives a little more time. I don't think that guy can actually reach us next turn, so let's start running down that siren. I guess we shouldn't completely ignore that thing, though. We'll send Rook after it. It's actually a cone burst. I did not know that. 
And another objective down. Maybe I should destroy that alien lair. Okay. Definitely some inconsistency on what counts as cover. Gotta do this in one shot, otherwise he'll return fire at point-blank range. Nicely done. Okay, I think we've just got the siren to worry about. Ah, I think that little barricade is blocking the arc. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, let's go heavy here. We'll just hit her with a missile. There go the arms. She's still got that acid attack though, so we're not quite done just yet. Can't afford to bunch our guys up here. Alright, I think they've got it handled, so let's have the rest of our guys go after those containers. carefully. I'm pretty sure we just heard more crab men. And there's one now. Oh no, there's two of them. Let's see if we can take this guy out. Actually, you know what? We'll just drop a grenade on the building.
in the full game, you would never want to try to thread the needle like this. There's no explosive scatter in the current build, but they will be adding it in Backer Build 5. Oh, looks like I ended up clipping King's Rook anyway. Sorry, man. Well, let's take this guy out and uh, get Rook to cover. Now we'll have Nathaniel finish off that siren. Hmm. Can't take her out without taking out an objective as well. Let's see if we can get a better angle here. You know what, we've got that other crab man to deal with, so let's just finish her off. Close, but not quite. Let's see if Mike Spark can finish the job. Oh, definitely not. All right, back to cover. Valenrook might be able to do this. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Okay, well, we caused some collateral damage. No big deal. The important thing is, the siren is dead next turn. Not bad. Nothing spectacular. Let's see if King's Rook can grab another kill here. Eh, not quite, but still a solid hit.
Looks like we got their attention. That really just makes this easier. First things first, let's nuke the building. Lovely. That should have killed the one that was already wounded. Yeah, one left and uh, he is literally disarmed. Let's grab that loot. Oh, very nice. Shoot, no more inventory space. Well, let's just wrap this up. Really? Come on. Thank you, Rook. Looks like we lost about half the objectives. That's not really a big deal in the current build. And just one level up. Surprising. Okay, um... Let's take a look at Rook real quick. Take care of that level up. He's injured, but it's pretty minor. And he gets his second class. Let's take a look at our options here. Ooh, plus 20% damage with heavy weapons. That pretty much makes our choice for us. We're obviously going with heavy training. That'll give us access to a lot more toys to play with. We'll grab Heavy Lifter for the extra carry capacity. And uh, Jetpack Proficiency for extra mobility. We'll save that perk for level 5, once we can pair it with Ready for Action. Alright, I think that's everything. Oof, we are running perilously low on materials. We really need to find another scavenging site out here. Oh, let's uh, check out that spot there. Amadioha. Amadioha recently suffered a breach, and there is still a lot to repair. The citizens are happy to see Phoenix Project operatives. <laughs> well, that is uh, obviously the exact opposite of what we were hoping for. We really can't spare any materials right now, so we'll just promise to protect their haven. Our representative thanks the Phoenix Project on behalf of the community. Okay, so that still got us a modest boost to reputation. 
not that it really matters in the current build. Let's get back to base. We'll break down some of our excess equipment. Now, obviously, we're only seeing a glimpse of the in-game economy right now. We can't really do interfaction trading, and there's no full-fledged manufacturing system. In the current build, you will eventually run out of resources. It's just a matter of seeing how long you can last before that actually happens. Yeah, I think we can live without a third flamethrower. We'll be giving one to Rook, but I think that's about it. I guess that's it for now. Hmm. Okay, folks. We're almost at the 30-minute mark, and I would like to rotate our squad before we head back out. Now that we've got a small base guard, we can actually afford to head back towards North America, so let's hit the pause button for now. I'll take care of the rotation off-screen, and we'll pick up here next time. Hopefully we can finally get our hands on a new Phoenix base. Oh, and remember, although I do love talking about Phoenix Point, you can find out more about the game by visiting the official website, the official YouTube channel, the official Discord channel, the official Facebook page, the official Twitter feed, the official development roadmap, or the original crowdfunding campaign over on FIG. You can also get your hands on a copy of Backer Build 4 for yourself by pre-ordering the game on the official Snapshot Games web store. As always, links are in the description.